The J. The NCAA has made the decision to cancel the men's and women's tournament. What's your reaction? I'm not sure there was any other reasonable choice, Reese. I mean, we've discussed this throughout the day, including uh, this morning uh, at nine o'clock on the ACC network, that, that this is a, a, pan a pandemic and this is about slowing the spread uh, of this and about flattening the curve of this. And the NCAA has to be, has no other choice but to be a responsible global citizen here. No other choice. And so I think, I think all of us that have been discussing this last night and throughout the day today uh, agreed that this was inevitable. And uh, it, there may be reasons why it took the NCAA this long, uh, but those don't matter right now. Uh, it could have been negotiation with their, their partners, also negotiation and discussion with their insurance carriers, because uh, there is over a billion dollars in play here just for the NCAA office, let alone all the conferences and the money that was lost by taking the actions they did today by canceling conference tournaments. Uh, that's an awful lot of money uh, that is not going to be flowing through the system right now. But that is secondary to the, the health concerns that are at issue here. And I think you've struck exactly the perfect tone uh, throughout the day as to why this is so important. This is, this is not just student athlete health. This is, this is about being a, being a responsible uh, global citizen in this to help stop the spread of this. I realize that there are some logistical differences, Jay, between a, a professional sports league, which really has, has a lot of control over, uh, over their group of players and coaches and teams. But you have the NBA suspended, Major League Baseball delaying, everything else suspended. We just talked to Mark Few, and he was saying that a number of the coaches were in agreement that they wanted to first try postponement, try to push it down the road a little bit in hopes that, uh, that this virus would be more contained and perhaps we'd be able to play. Uh, what do you think about that point of view and, the, and whether that was a feasible, feasible or a reasonable proposition from the coaches to try postponement rather than cancellation? It's certainly a reasonable uh, statement that they they should try to do that. That that is within the realm of reason, and and on one level, in the abstract, makes good sense. What I don't know is what the contracts say uh, with regard to the NCAA tournament. The contracts with uh, with the media rights partners, uh, the contracts with all the other partners, and the contracts with the insurance carriers and underwriters. What do those say? because it may be that the NCAA is able to recoup uh, losses by canceling rather than uh, by postponing. Uh, that, that may be at play here. I just don't know the answer to that. I'm not privy. I've not been allowed to read those contracts. I would like to. Uh, <laughs> but, but one of the things, Risa, uh, about this is we haven't heard anything out of the NCAA office. All we've heard are, are written statements. And it would be nice if someone would step forward that could be a reassuring voice in all of this. That so far, what we've really seen has been principal leadership coming from individual institutions and from conferences thus far. And we haven't really heard much from the NCAA. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe there's a proper justification for it. I don't know what that is and, and would like to hear it. Well, it's one of the things we talked about earlier in the day that perhaps some of the schools were in some ways forcing the NCAA's hands by suspending athletic travel and the like. Uh, and the statement that Jay alluded to was just released. Uh, today, the NCAA president, Mark Emmert, and the Board of Gover Governors released this statement. Uh, let's put it up on the screen for them right now so that uh, people can see what this is, I'm told it's coming, but at any rate, it said that all winter championships would be canceled. Here is the statement. Now, the Board of Governors canceled the Division I men's and women's 2020 basketball tournaments, as well as all remaining winter and spring NCAA championships. This decision is based on the evolving COVID-19 public health threat. Our ability to ensure the events do not contribute to the spread of the pandemic and the impracticality of hosting such events at any time during this academic year, given ongoing decisions by other entities. So uh, now you hear this, hear this statement, Jay. I mean, I th it's, it's hard to argue with it. There's mostly the biggest problem with this is the unknown. If you listen to the experts, they still say that the overwhelming number of cases are mild, but certainly not all of them are. And there are many, many things that they are, have yet to learn about this virus that causes some of, some of this reaction and this abundance of caution that we've seen undertaken so far. 
Yeah, and, and Reese, this is not just about the fact that, that people can get this and for some it may be mild and uh, trying to compare this to the flu. That, that, that's not, uh, in my judgment, appropriate right now, nor, nor appropriate, period. Uh, th this is about a, a global pandemic that what's really the, the, our healthcare professionals are trying to do is slow any sort of spike and slow the spread of this so that our healthcare system is not overwhelmed uh, and then, then people can't be treated for other things that are outside of the, the coronavirus. I mean, there are a lot of things at play that, that all of our healthcare professionals, like our governments, uh, whether they be state, local, or otherwise, or governments around the world right now, aren't making this stuff up. And, and we've seen uh, what I consider to be principled leadership on the part uh, of the NBA and Major League Baseball and the NHL. And we've seen what I – yesterday I thought that the NCAA's uh, statement uh, was a good one on there will be a tournament but uh, no spectators. That was an appropriate, in my judgment, intermediate step. I didn't think it was coordinated with the conferences. I thought that was a mistake and a failure of leadership. But at least the broad strokes were correct. Uh, today – I thought we, we were a little slow on the uptake of getting the conference tournaments uh, uh, canceled or at least postponed. There shouldn't have been play today, and it took a while for everybody to wrap their heads around that. And the NCAA has been slow, but ultimately they got there. Now, whether we're talking postponement or cancellation, it may be a distinction without a difference. It would certainly be very difficult in another month or another three weeks to try to start up a 68-team tournament that has 14 different venues uh, with all the different partners. That it, it, Logistically, it, it would be an enormous challenge. Mm -hmm. so, so postponement and cancellation may have been one and the same, but it was inevitable. And I think so many people knew it as of yesterday and, and today. Uh, but at least the NCAA got to the right place, in my judgment.